Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. My name's Melanie. Thanks for joining me on my channel. Today we're going to be making mustard potato salad. This is one of my favorite potato salads. I got the recipe from my mom and I really enjoy making it for my family. I've already got my potatoes cooked so we can go ahead and start making the potato salad. Okay, I've already got my potatoes cooked. All I've done was peeled them, quartered them, and cooked them in some water until they were fork tender. We're gonna need mayonnaise, mustard, some boiled eggs, and some pickle relish. I prefer the dill relish. You can use the sweet relish. But with this having mustard in it, I think the dill relish goes with it better. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump our eggs in there. I have chopped them up. We're gonna get them over in there. And I did about six eggs. All right, and we're gonna get some mayonnaise. Um, I don't know how much mayonnaise to tell you. I'm going to start with about a half a cup. And we're going to squirt some mustard over in here. I'm going to guess about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. And I'm going to dump about a half a jar of my relish. And we'll go back at the end and we'll taste it and see if we need any more. And I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Another thing I like to do once I get it mixed up a little bit, I like to take a potato masher and mash it up. I'm not a fan of big chunks of potatoes, so I just give it a couple of good mashes. I don't mash it up like mashed potatoes. I just break up some of the larger chunks. Okay, let's keep mixing. And this comes together really fast. It's a really good um, recipe to make the day before. If you're having a big cookout, this is something you can make the day before. You don't have to worry about making it the day of. I think I have plenty of mustard and mayonnaise in there. It looks looking really good. So, I think I'm going to say this is good. You can taste it. If you need to add more pickle relish, it's your choice. I kind of like it a little pickly, but this is a good base. You, from here, you can add onions, peppers, whatever, you're, whatever you like in your recipe. But I do say it's better if you let it get really, really cold before you serve it. So, it's something you might want to think about if you're having a big cookout, making it the night before or making it that morning. Hope you enjoyed this quick recipe and I'll be sharing more later. So please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments, put them in the comments below. Thanks for joining me.